This is the largest living room in New York City, spanning over 3,000 square feet with 21 foot high ceilings. My name is Eric Conover, yeah. and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one of a kind of luxury apartment in New York City. Hey. Let's go. This duplex home is a whopping 14,539 square feet atop the world's first Art Deco skyscraper built in 1927. It has unobstructed views of the Statue of Liberty with over 40,000 square feet of top of the line amenities included. Home to one of the largest living rooms in New York City, it's listed exclusively by Core Real Estate asking just under $40 million. Now, if you're already subscribed to my channel, you know that in this series, we tour the most incredible luxury apartments in New York City. And we have some pretty ridiculous apartments coming up in future episodes, so make sure to click that subscribe button. Today, I'm doing a walkthrough with one of the top real estate brokers in the city. Hi, I'm Sean Asher. I'm the CEO of Core, the number one boutique residential real estate company in New York City. I've been doing this for almost 30 years. I've sold close to $10 billion worth of real estate in my career. Today, I'm at 100 Barclay, the penthouse, and have the pleasure of showing Eric Conover this incredible space. Eric, you're in for a real treat. Welcome to the penthouse at 100 Barclay. I will say that in the 30 years of apartments that I've sold, this is one of the, if not the most spectacular. I don't know of another foyer where you get a window this size, almost 20 feet, actually more than 20 feet high. It's actually kind of tough to get a perspective of how big these floor to ceiling windows are without seeing someone standing next to them. The views from this apartment are unreal. The apartment is perfectly aligned with the Empire State Building. And because of the zoning laws in Tribeca, there are unobstructed views of all Manhattan in one sight line. Having views like this, it's incredibly dynamic. And just watching how the city evolves dramatically as day turns into night and the city comes alive. When you look at this building from the outside, you know, this is one of those buildings that when you're on the street, you look up and you go, wow, that's one of the most beautiful New York buildings. Um, we're actually standing in that space. This building is built out of bricks and you couldn't replicate this building in today's world. You know, these bricks were laid brick by brick and that's not how they build buildings today. So you're really buying a piece of the New York City skyline here and you're buying a piece of craftsmanship that's irreplaceable. Welcome to one of the biggest living rooms in New York City. In my 30 years of doing this, I have not seen a bigger living room. The one word I get from people when they walk into the space is wow. I mean, that really describes this room. And I think this is the quintessential wow, New York City penthouse apartment. You know, the kind that you would think your superhero lives in, in Gotham City or Manhattan. This is the Bruce Wayne apartment. Or Tony Stark. I love the Marvel movies. Have yeah. you seen the new one? Oh yeah, you Endgame. Saw it? Oh yeah, I've seen yeah. it twice. No, this is Tony Stark's apartment. Actually, I should probably call him because Robert Downey would be a good buyer for this. Thank you for that. We'll go through, you know, sections of this living room because it's so big. You know, something that is pretty remarkable is the buyer for this probably has a significant art collection. And that's a great challenge when people buy in these glass towers with floor to ceiling glass, there's not much wall space. The beauty of this space is there is more art wall space here than any other apartment I've ever seen. So when you look at these walls, they're a canvas for great artwork. Relative to the space, these pieces of furniture may seem small, but you know, this C-shaped couch over here could seat comfortably 15 people. This L-shaped couch over here could easily seat 10 people. The true beauty of the space is that you can fit two coffee tables in an area and not feel like one is imposing on the other. And then over here you have a dining area. You now this is a huge dining room table that seats 10 very comfortable spaces. What's better than standing or sitting at the head of this table and looking at the Hudson River with boats passing. Because this penthouse faces west during golden hour, the apartment walls turn into almost this living art museum with the shadows dancing across the oversized wall. The warm color that the sun creates instantly changes the entire feel of the space as opposed to a cloudy day. If you're the kind of person who loves to entertain, this is the ultimate entertaining space. I think you could easily fit 300 people in this living room, just the living room, not the rest of the apartment, and be very comfortable. You know, if you need two lounges and a dining room, 
and a reading area in one room, this is it. Now as we're moving through this living room, the 21 foot windows give you some of the most unique and breathtaking views, no matter where you're looking in this apartment. Like straight down below, you have the lively West Side Highway. Then looking south, you have the cleanest view of the Statue of Liberty at sunset. I mean, it almost looks like a painting. And then what's really cool is that this corner creates an intimate moment in a space with this much volume, which is really unique. You would think in a room this intimidating and big, you wouldn't be able to have intimate moments, but you know, this is an example of one corner that kind of has that feeling about it. Part of the beauty of these pre-war buildings is that they've got moments and elements. The walls aren't flat. There are really interesting details like exposed columns. And then this is one of them, which has got this little nook where you can actually seat people, and there are a couple of them in this room. You can never have enough storage, even this in 14,500 square feet. How would you put things up there? You'd have a ladder? <laughs> Those are things the buyer's not gonna worry about. When you buy an apartment like this, you don't worry about how you're gonna change the light bulb. Speaking of lights, most penthouses only have one single grand chandelier. Due to the sheer size of this living room, you're able to equip the space with not one, but three custom lighting fixtures that add a modern touch to such a classic space. So moving from this intimate corner here, we've set this up like an office area, but what a cool space to come home, work or work from home, turn around, look at the Statue of Liberty. This right behind us is One World Trade Center, which is actually kind of a glass mirror facade. And what's very cool about that is you can see your reflection of this building in that facade. So let's go from the living room into the kitchen area. Really has every appliance a chef would ever need. Actually, if you stood underneath this hood, you would be sucked out of the building. That's a joke. <laughs> yeah, this is a deep fryer. I mean, I think the owner of this apartment probably won't use the deep fryer because they're probably like one of those really healthy fit people. But you know, this would make great French fries. You've got induction, you've got six gas burner, you've got a grill, two ovens. Everything is Gaginau, which is the best appliance that is made in the market today. And this is truly a chef's kitchen. Of course, there's a wine storage, as every penthouse should have. So it's kind of like a service entrance into the kitchen. If you're catering and you want people to be servicing from the kitchen into the living room, this is a back entrance where they can do it. This is the lap of luxury, my goodness. It is. Walking through the kitchen, there's actually another prep sink over there. And this is kind of an informal dining area. This is where you'd probably eat lunch, maybe have breakfast, hang out, have a cup of coffee. It's a much more smaller, intimate living room space with a wood-burning fireplace on two sides. Also, very cool, you can stand here and you look over Santiago Calatrava's Oculus, which is pretty spectacular. So the other side of the fireplace has got this bigger lounge area. And what's really cool about this is it's got this fully serviced wet bar and pretty much anything you would need to entertain and serve drinks to all of your guests. So you know this place is a duplex because you saw the staircase. Let's take a look upstairs. So this is a temporary staircase, but I think this is a real design moment for someone who's gonna buy this space. It's an architectural opportunity to have someone come in and design something that is a sculptural piece of this living room. You know, I've sold apartments for millions of dollars with staircases that have cost millions of dollars. The buyer of this also gets with it 40,000 square feet of amenities in the building. You have a 24-hour doorman, concierge, you have a swimming pool, you have a spa, you have a fitness center, you have a conference room, you have a movie theater, 40,000 square feet of amenities in addition to this 14,500 square feet of private space. So now we're going from public space to private space and we left this raw. So this area here would be part of the private space and by private I mean bedrooms, study, servants quarters, home office, gym. This section here is bigger than most apartments in New York City. You know, this allows for the most flexibility for the potential buyer. By that I mean, you know, there's mechanicals already in the space. Plumbing, electric, air conditioning, heating. And just to put that in perspective, all of the finished space I showed you, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, is less than 50% of the home that the buyer would be buying here. Which makes this apartment officially the largest single unit that we've toured on my channel. And that's something pretty special.
comment down below more New York City if you want to see more luxury apartment tours. I want to give a huge thanks to my friend Sean here for showing us this incredible apartment. It was fun. And if you're interested in buying this apartment, make sure to get in contact with my friend Sean. Also go follow Core Real Estate on Instagram and YouTube. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Hey. Let's go.